Alright, two videos in one day. And the reason why I'm making two videos in one day is because I have a request for this video. Um, Anonymous wrote in my form spring that they wanted me to talk about high school and um, how to get through it. And um, I feel like it is such a big topic in life and I'm only in 10th grade and I can probably make a video that's five hours long just about high school in general. But, um, alright, well, let me start off with this. I have not had a very good high school life lately. Um, well, so far, even. To be honest, I hate high school. I mean, on the rare occasion, I like going to school, but most of the time, the reason why I'm absent so much is because I just can't stand going there, you know? I can't stand the work, I can't stand the teachers, and you can, really can't stand the, most of the kids. Um, ninth grade was really tough for me. Um, I mean, all throughout middle school, I was really bullied a lot, um, kind of hence why I don't have any of the self-confidence that I used to have anymore when I did in elementary school. Um, in ninth grade... I'm not going to really get into things a lot, but um, a lot of kids know because they've seen um, in lunch, people would throw food at me. Um, they screamed at me that I was ugly right to my face, flat chested, fat, um, that my outfits were disgusting, that I looked like a stripper. And they would scream this um, for the whole cafeteria to hear. No one did anything. No one ever stuck up for me. So, um, it really, when things like that happen, it really kind of makes you, when no one sticks up for you especially, you start to believe them because if no one's sticking up for you, then maybe it's true. You know, that's kind of the first thing that goes on in your mind. Um, uh, there were times when I was afraid to go to school in ninth grade that I would cry to my mom and ask her if I could just stay home because I didn't want to have to deal with, you know, people yelling at me in the hallways and everything, um, you know, when you're walking alone in the hallway and there's a group of guys walking behind you with all their friends, older guys, and they scream that Erica Cipollina's a whore, it doesn't really make you feel too good about yourself, or when they try to even trip you in the classroom, um, you know, it's, it's scary, older kids can be terrifying, um, luckily this year has been a lot better for me. And last year it started to get better too, but I really haven't had any bad moments um, this year. Um, I really learned to not let things bother me as much. I mean, coming, but for me to say that to someone, to not let things bother you, I understand that that must be really difficult to understand because it took me 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, 4 years to finally learn that, to not let things bother me as much and to let what people say just kind of slide and just forget about it and it's not important. It took me four years to learn that. So if all this drama in your life, whoever you are, is starting now, I can't even imagine, like, hopefully you're a lot stronger than I was and are able to get past it quicker than me. But really, like, my advice is surround yourself with really close friends. You know, you don't need to be friends with everybody. I mean, sure, it's great to be, like, acquaintances with everyone, but just surround yourself with people that are going to have a positive effect on you, you know, that are going to make you actually want to come to school and have a good time and that make you laugh and smile, especially. That's so important because I know, like, if it wasn't for, like, my best friends right now, like, I would m probably have moved a long time ago. I mean, I can't even tell you how many times I begged my parents to let me move. And in the ninth grade, they did say that if it didn't light up in three months, you know, um, of being in the school year, that we could, that I could have switched schools. Um, but it did get better, and I'm sure it's going to get better for you, you know. I mean, in ninth grade especially, like, there was a new, an eighth grade and seventh grade, actually. Seventh grade was the worst of my life. It was, like, really the worst year. Um, there was a new rumor about me. I mean, like, every day, you know, I would just hear the most ridiculous, crazy stuff, um, really hurtful things, too, about me, you know, and things that may ruin my reputation, things that my mom found out from other parents that weren't true. I mean, there was one time when this was a long time ago, but my best friends at the time 
thought I bought drugs and told their moms that, who told my mom. I've never tried a drug once in my life. So that was in like sixth grade. I don't really understand that that happened, but I'm just telling you all this so you know, like, I've been there. I've been through all of that. So if what you're going through is anything like what I've been going through my entire life, it does get better because I'm living proof that I'm okay now. And sure, I have problems right now, but it has nothing to do with bullying or getting made fun of or, you know, getting screamed out in the hallway that you're ugly. <laughs> you know what I mean? It has nothing to do with that. And, you know, sure, you get some scars along the way from all of that. I mean... I can't tell you how many times I just cried myself to sleep <laughs> over all the things that would happen to me in middle school, especially in ninth grade. But, you know, you really got to surround yourself around good people um, and figure out what's really important in your life, you know, and, and have your morals set on straight, too, because you really got to know what you want in this world and, you know, to make it through high school, you know, so... Um, that's my advice. I want, I would keep talking, but this video is already 6 minutes and 20 seconds long, so I'm thinking I should end it now. Um, I really hope this helped. I try to talk as fast as possible to make this go quicker, but, um, I'm really sorry if it didn't, and maybe if you want some more help with anything or just someone to talk to, you could talk to me on Form of Spring if you want to remain anonymous, or you could message me. I'm really friendly, and I don't bite, so... Anonymous, whoever you are, let me know if you need any more help, and I'd be glad to. Bye.